Now, are you looking for that perfect dessert to make at home? Well, our queen of baking, Catherine Layden, is in the kitchen this morning. Good morning to you, Catherine. Good morning, there. So, no. uh, rhubarb, rhubarb crumble, crumble, not yep. a tart or a pie, a crumble. No, just a basic crumble. No worries about pastry, nothing. Just your crumble and just huge rhubarb. And now, the you can perfect add... time of the year to do this Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. Just... Yeah. There's tons of rhubarb yeah. around at the moment. Now, a tip. The number of knives, some of the rhubarb in there already cut, but the number of people I've seen, you... you... Take the top and bottom off your rhubarb. You clean it, right? But the number of people, you need six stalks for this. And I've seen people the whole time taking one stalk at a time. Uh -huh. You pile the whole three or four together oh, and chop, chop them. them. And just cut them, Oh, yeah. quite rough. Like, what's that? An inch or so? Yeah. Each one. Because it's going to be stewed. It's going to end up like that there, Tommy. Oh, OK. So then you put it into a low heat. And as I say, I have some of them in there. With... Now, at home, I'd leave it under a very low heat for about 40 minutes. And I don't add water. But if you're cooking it a bit quicker, are you doing it in the microwave, which you can do for about seven minutes? I would... Oh, just throw them all into a microwave? Yeah. And it just all goes about... right down like yeah, that? but in about four minutes. But even that? So you don't put any water in it? That? You no, you don't leave... have to if you do it at a very low heat. But if you're cooking, you want it in a hurry, right. add about two tablespoons and of it turns, water. And it turns real it... liquidy itself. Correct. But oh. everybody has they a should... microwave now, so it's, it's not they easy should, just yeah. to... No. Or would you prefer yeah, to do it that... in the pot? You don't want the microwave, like, all the... Zapping and stuff. <laughs> I do it in the saucepan. Yeah, saucepan's better. Now, I put in two yeah, but it's tablespoonfuls of golden castor sugar. You can use regular sugar as well. And another tip for people who are trying to watch their diet, <laughs> as I am myself at the moment, yeah. you can replace sugar with these xylitols or stevia. Oh, right, OK. So and just a sweeteners means. kind of thing. They're sweeteners, yeah. yeah. But they don't, you don't get an aftertaste or anything from them. Oh, so you're cutting okay. way back on the sugar if you want oh, by using good. that. Now, much, and would you use the same amount? Equal amounts, okay. yes. Equal amounts. Okay. Now, on to make the crumble. Into the bowl we put um, 175 grams, six ounces of our cream plain flour, 120 grams, 125 grams, four ounces of demerara sugar, 125 grams, four ounces of... Oat plates. Now, you combine those ingredients together. Mm. Now, if you don't like the oats, give a nice nuttiness to the crumble. If you like, you can replace the 125 grams or four ounces of oats with 125 grams, four ounces of flour. So you just have flour, sugar and butter. Do you follow? Then it's not a crumble, is it? It is a crumble. It will be a crumble, but it won't be the nut. It won't have the nuttiness of the oats in it. And it won't be quite as healthy. So you can. Now, to that we're going to add... 125 grams, four ounces of butter. Don't so it's actually equal the queen quantities. of baking, Alan. Oh, You're not convinced, are you not? No, I'm sorry, no. But, like, a crumble is the crumbly bit on the top. That's right, yeah, yeah. Because the oats not causing that crumble, no? No, no, it's the sugar, the flour and the... Sugar, the flour and the butter is what causes it. And a lot of people wonder why they don't get a crunchy top on their crumble. That's because they haven't added enough dry ingredients. OK? There you go now. So now, so just put your fingers into that and rub it away until you have a crumble-like mixture. Now, rhubarb, gin ginger goes very well with rhubarb. Ginger? Now, yeah. Now, I haven't put it in the oven or taken out of the oven. All now, right, I thought okay. you mightn't like it. <laughs> I was going to say, the way you I know, know me. Put some I ginger. Know you know me so well, 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 I know you well. Ginger. So he just sounds a bit cranky here this morning. Taking about two so. teaspoons just... of ginger. Ginger and rhubarb are gorgeous together. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Lovely. Oh, Lovely. yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 My favourite. Now, you just mix the ginger with the rhubarb. You see already the rhubarb that was hitting at the bottom oh, has gone that. nice yeah, and soft. Yeah. 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 40 minutes. Amazing. Now, that's on the low heat. Microwave, five minutes will do yeah, it. Or okay. even less, on high flour, out speed. So it comes out like this. Out like this, into your bowl, and you shake your crumble on top. When would you put it into the, the mixture with the microwave? So you'd kind of take it out of the microwave, then put the sugar, and then put the ginger in? Or do you put that no, in? No, put them all in first, all like I'm the doing there. Start. All okay. in at the very right. start. Yeah. Now, sorry, now, Catherine. Yes. What you have in that bowl... Yeah has turned into that. Correct. I spent, just spent a bit longer at it and you end up with this here. Now, what I have to say, and I, I see you're seeing double or treble the amount here because, yeah. another small tip, when I'm making crumble, I always double or treble the recipe. I put it into a food bag and keep it in the fridge. So is if you go out to the garden... bubbling? You yeah, can smell the, the ginger. The, oh, right, it's got the pot. high heat now, is it? There See, yeah. just softening up there because I have it on a higher heat, oh, but at home, as I say, okay, on right. a low heat, <coughs> excuse me, you wouldn't have to do that at all. You sit it there and it goes to this here. Now, as I say, I've trebled the amount, so I put that, I'm going to put shakes them in now on top, and you put it into a preheated oven, um, 175, sorry, 190, 375 gas mark 5. 
for about 20 minutes, okay? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. I suppose, because the, the, the rhubarb is cooked. The rhubarb is cooked, cooked yeah. exactly. So you just want to crumble up the crumble. Yeah. Now we're going to take out the one we made earlier and do put it in an upper shelf position because whether you're using a conventional oven with top element and bottom element or a fan oven, you want a nice crusty top on it. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Now we have one in this oven here because, ooh, look at this, it's all done. Look at that. Oh, okay. you watch your fingers. The nails again in action. There we Look go. at this. Hello. Catherine. Hello. Your fingers burnt off. Not at all, they're perfect. Now, um, custard or cream? Custard. Custard, please. Custard, yes. Please. yes. It's yeah. amazing how popular the old custard is, yeah. isn't it? I, I said it. The last time I think I had custard was with you here. Oh, something I was doing here. I love yeah. custard. Now, you could you also... never make custard at home for yourself. But no, you but another thing you could do. Uh, no, I don't, no. but I, I do love a bit of custard, all right. Another thing you could do with it is ice cream. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know. No, but I think of all that now, cream or ice cream, the bit of custard would Can't be my favourite. Yep. Look at that. Now, boys. Yum. Thank you very much. We're going to Catherine. put the custard in. Wait till we wait to put the custard, custard on. Custard on. Now, I haven't got the custard too hot so that it might cool down your. Okay, there you go, Tommy. Lovely. Now, is there an L spoon there? Oh, wooden spoons. Love it. There we go. Look wooden at this. spoons. Okay. So I'm forever That's losing the spoons. Rhubarb crumble. Rhubarb crumble couldn't be easier. I always go home and my mum always has rhubarb, cr rhubarb crumble that she makes. It's, it's uh, an old family uh, recipe, she... isn't it? <laughs> 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 mum, she makes the best rhubarb crumble mm. from the local centre. Oh, uh, stop can... that. Poor mum. You're very good. Thank you, It's an old family bow recipe. My pleasure. <laughs> <It is>. Thank <laughs> you, Catherine. Always a pleasure. Delicious. Thank you.